Liraglutide is a GLP-1 analog. Um, it's an anti-diabetic drug. Um, what um, we and others have shown is in the preclinical model, it has reduced the neuroinflammation, tau formation, um, it improves the synaptic function, it reduced the amyloid formation, and overall, it improved the, the neuronal function and memory in, in animal models. And, and this is also demonstrated in very small number of uh, human subjects. It's not only in Alzheimer's disease, the, the GLP-1 analog um, as a class of drug has been tested in Parkinson's disease. And it is also shown some improvement in, in Parkinson's disease uh, patients. Based on all the preclinical evidence with uh, liraglutide, the aim of the ELA study, which is evaluation of liraglutide in Alzheimer's disease, was to see how um, the liraglutide works in Alzheimer's disease, and more importantly, whether it changes um, glucose metabolism uh, in the treatment group compared to the placebo, uh, and also whether it causes any changes in the MRI, and more importantly, cognitive function. So the study in, in this particular study, we recruited around 204 patients. They were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive either treatment or placebo. Uh, these subjects had a daily injection of liraglutide, and the patients had the baseline MRI and PET scan, all done at a single center at Imperial College London. Uh, then the patients um, underwent the clinical visits, which were done locally, and they finally, they had the final um, MRI and PET scan again at the same scanner at Imperial College London. So what we have demonstrated is that patients who were treated with liraglutide, uh, they tolerated the drug very well, and more importantly, their MRI volume was maintained in the patients treated with the liraglutide, while those who didn't receive the active treatment, the MRI volume was deteriorated significantly compared to the treatment arm. Um, again, um, looking at the cognitive function, the cognitive function also performed much better in patients who were treated with the liraglutide compared to the placebo arm. Um, However, we did not see a significant change in the glucose metabolism, which we think it's uh, probably because of the small numbers um, studied in the subject. So I think it is a, a rather small um, study, um, even, even though we had 200 subjects, 200 subjects are not really enough to demonstrate the efficacy of a drug. However, we were able to show that um, it has improved the um, cognitive function, which was uh, actually uh, was an excellent finding considering the small number of patients. We have also shown that uh, the biomarker, the MRI, has also improved or, or was better in the, in the patients treated with the, tre uh, the liraglutide, which suggests that you know, a, a larger study um, of looking at the GLP-1 analog could be a potential, um, has got great potential and could be a treatment in the Alzheimer's disease if we were to prove that it improves the cognitive function in larger studies. There are oral GLP-1 analogs at the moment, um, uh, no, no risk, who is the company which um, produces this compound. Um, they are already trying to run a phase three study of the oral GLP-1 analog.